Ethereum isn't just another cryptocurrency. It's a revolution that redefined what blockchain could do. From smart contracts to NFTs, it transformed digital money into a platform for an entirely new economy. But its history is filled with bold ideas, huge risks, and some shocking twists. In this video, we're exploring the history of Ethereum, how it started as a dream from a young programmer, grew into the backbone of Web3, and faced challenges that nearly destroyed it. And trust me, what happened along the way is as dramatic as any financial thriller. Before we begin, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell, because the future of money starts with stories like this. Who invented Ethereum? Ethereum was conceived by Vitalik Buterin, a Russian-Canadian programmer who was just 19 years old when he published the Ethereum white paper in November 2013. Born in Moscow in 1994, Buterin moved to Canada with his family at age 6, where his father, a computer scientist, introduced him to technology and programming. By his teenage years, Buterin had already made a name for himself in the cryptocurrency world as a co-founder and lead writer for Bitcoin magazine at age 18. His involvement with Bitcoin sparked a realization that blockchain technology could do far more than just facilitate peer-to-peer -peer payments. Buterin believed Bitcoin needed a scripting language for application development. But when he couldn't gain consensus within the Bitcoin community, he decided to create something new. His vision was ambitious a blockchain with a built-in programming language that could execute smart contracts and support decentralized applications without requiring permission from any central authority. This became Ethereum, and Buterin assembled a team of talented co-founders, including Gavin Wood, Charles Hoskinson, Anthony DiIorio, and Joseph Lubin to bring his vision to life. The project officially launched on July 30, 2015, after a successful crowdfunding campaign that raised over $18 million in Bitcoin. While Buterin is recognized as Ethereum's primary creator, he has always emphasized that Ethereum was a collaborative effort involving brilliant minds from across the blockchain community. Why has Ethereum's value increased? Ethereum's price journey has been nothing short of remarkable. When it launched in 2015, one other token cost just a few dollars. Today, despite market fluctuations, Ethereum has reached valuations in the thousands of dollars per token, with its all-time high exceeding $4,800. Several factors have fueled this extraordinary growth. First and foremost is Ethereum's technological innovation. Unlike Bitcoin, which functions primarily as a store of value and payment system, Ethereum introduced smart contracts, which are self-executing agreements written in code. These smart contracts became the foundation for an entire ecosystem of decentralized applications. The 2017 initial coin offering boom saw hundreds of projects launching tokens on Ethereum's blockchain, driving massive demand for Ether as investors needed it to participate in these offerings. Then came decentralized finance or DeFi, which exploded in 2020. Applications like Uniswap, Aave, and Compound allowed users to lend, borrow, and trade assets without banks or traditional financial intermediaries, and they were all built on Ethereum. The non-fungible token craze of 2021 provided another catalyst, with digital artists, celebrities, and major brands minting NFTs on Ethereum, creating unprecedented transaction volumes. The network's transition from proof-of-work to proof-of-stake in September 2022, known as the merge, marked another milestone. This upgrade reduced Ethereum's energy consumption by over 99% and introduced a deflationary mechanism through EIP-1559, which burns a portion of transaction fees. This burn mechanism means that during periods of high network activity, more Ether is destroyed than created, making it potentially deflationary. Institutional adoption has also played a crucial role. Major financial institutions, corporations, and even governments have recognized Ethereum's potential. With the approval of Ethereum spot exchange traded funds in 2024 opening the door for traditional investors to gain exposure. Network upgrades like the Berlin Update, London Hard Fork, 
and ongoing developments toward full scalability through sharding have demonstrated Ethereum's commitment to continuous improvement. All these factors combined technological utility, ecosystem growth, institutional interest, and supply dynamics have contributed to Ethereum's value appreciation over the years. How does Ethereum compare to other cryptocurrencies? Ethereum holds a distinctive place in the cryptocurrency world. Bitcoin remains the largest player, with a market cap of about $2.3 trillion, while Ethereum follows at roughly $530 billion. Their roles, however, are very different. Bitcoin is often called digital gold, designed as a secure, stable store of value with limited upgrades. Ethereum, by contrast, is a programmable blockchain that acts as a foundation for decentralized applications. If Bitcoin is a calculator, Ethereum is a smartphone, flexible, and built for countless uses. Ethereum's biggest strength is its smart contract capability, which powers thousands of decentralized apps across TEFI, NFTs, gaming, and enterprise solutions. While competitors like Solana, Cardano, and Avalanche boast faster speeds and lower costs. Solana processes thousands of transactions per second compared to Ethereum's 15 to 30 on its base layer. Ethereum maintains a huge edge. It has the largest developer community, the deepest ecosystem of dApps, and far more value locked in DeFi than any rival, proving where users trust their assets. Scalability is also improving through Layer 2 networks like Arbitrum, Optimism, and Polygon. These solutions process transactions off-chain, then settle them on Ethereum, combining speed with the security of the base layer. This allows Ethereum to compete with newer blockchains without losing its reliability. What is the future for Ethereum? Ethereum is undergoing a major multi-year upgrade that will transform its scalability and role in global finance. The most important step is sharding, which will split the blockchain into parallel chains, boosting capacity to tens of thousands of transactions per second. Combined with Layer 2 solutions, Ethereum could handle hundreds of thousands while staying secure and decentralized. Analysts predict strong price potential, with targets ranging from $6,500 in 2025 to five-figure valuations by 2030, driven by adoption, network upgrades, and its deflationary mechanics. Beyond price, Ethereum aims to be the foundation of Web3, enabling user-owned data, tokenized assets, and even government-backed digital currencies. Its shift to proof-of-stake has also made it far more environmentally sustainable. Challenges remain, including regulation, competition from newer blockchains, high fees during demand spikes, and risks in DeFi applications. Still, Ethereum's developer base, institutional interest, and resilience position it as the leading platform for a more decentralized digital economy. From its humble beginnings to becoming a billion-dollar ecosystem, Ethereum's history proves that innovation always comes with uncertainty and massive opportunity. Which part of Ethereum's journey surprised you the most? And do you think it will shape the future of money? Drop your thoughts in the comments, I'd love to hear them. If you enjoyed this dive into crypto history, hit like, subscribe, and share this video with someone curious about blockchain. Until next time, stay curious, stay futuristic, and remember, in the world of Ethereum, the code is the contract.